So I just saw Kevin Smith's new movie, Tusk, and wow, what a surprise, it was a giant piece of shit. There were quite a few of you asking me to see it, and so I did. So now I beg the question, why? What did I do to deserve this? Was it a horror movie? Because it wasn't scary. Was it a comedy? Because it wasn't funny. It's not even so bad that you can laugh at it. It's just plain obnoxious and unbearable. But Kevin Smith has such a good track record as of late. How did this happen? You know, with this new Kevin Smith, I think it's just his way of shouting, hey, look, guys, I'm not a one trick pony, see? But in doing so, he proves the exact opposite. Justin Long's character is so obnoxious and poorly written that even if he were a great actor, he wouldn't be able to pull it off. The guy from Red State's in it, playing pretty much almost the exact same character that he played in Red State. Harley from Epic Mealtime makes a cameo appearance near the beginning, so if you want to see that, then you could probably just leave after the first 10 minutes and get your money back, because this film is not worth the price of admission no matter how much it costs. Near the beginning of the film, they make a painfully unfunny funny and obnoxious parody of the Star Wars kid. They're watching an online video of a guy swinging around a samurai sword, and then he accidentally cuts his own leg off with an effect that would make 100% of people that watch that online video say fake and gay. But since this movie is a giant piece of shit, its universe has absolutely zero self-awareness. So whereas what we see should be reasonably interpreted as, oh, some kid posted a video on the internet and then CG'd his own leg being cut off, what the movie's saying is, no, his leg actually got cut off and you, you were supposed to believe it. The whole plot of the movie is so fucking stretched out. Well, of course the main plot takes up 90% of the trailer, that's to get people to buy tickets, haha. <laughs> as for the actual movie, let's just keep cutting away from it and dicking around because the actual plot line that we've written down doesn't really go that far. So many of these stupid choices seem like they were made for the intention of comedy, but none of it was funny at all. Did you know that a commonly held Canadian stereotype is that they pronounce about a boot? Ha 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 ha. Hey look, Johnny Depp's character has a French accent. Ha 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 ha. Well, not only was the French accent kind of shit to begin with, but why would someone with a French accent speaking English words then have an English accent speaking French words? He seriously said firm your fucking bouche. I mean, I'm not fluent in French, so I can't pronounce it properly either, but I'm pretty sure it's closer to ferm than firm. They had an agonizing scene with Johnny Depp's character and the main villain that didn't really need to be in the movie, but they wanted to fill up time. They're playing some shitty accordion music in the background to imply that there's supposed to be comedy in this scene, but it was just so painful. Ha ha ha, both of them talk funny and they are talking to each other. This comedy, me funny now. There's a point in the movie where there's somebody behind the camera and they don't reveal who it is yet, and so naturally I think of what the most predictable outcome would be. And yep, exactly who I thought it would be almost makes it pointless for there to have been a reveal at all. I guess this is spoiler talk now, so click to this part of the video if you don't want to hear spoilers. I'm giving you three seconds, it's not really seconds, but I'm just gonna count down three, two, one. Now I get that parts of this movie are supposed to be absurdist in a way. Like, obviously I'm not expecting the surgery from man to walrus to be 100% medically accurate, but do you not think the movie would have been any better if the walrus suit was a bit more convincing. There was no point that I believed that it was human skin. All I saw was a fucking rubber suit the whole time. Is it supposed to be funny? Does it add anything to the movie for me to be wondering how he can swallow food without a tongue or the ability to tilt his head back? You know, you'd think that if it were part of a joke, the movie would at least give some sort of impression that it's even aware of it. There's a part in the movie where our main character finds a phone, and instead of contacting the police, he phones two other people and leaves messages for them to contact the police. It was not delivered as though it were some kind of joke. It was delivered as though this movie is a giant steaming pile of shit. And what a giant steaming pile of shit this movie is. And holy fuck, the music that they played during the end fight scene made my ears bleed. This is, without a doubt, the worst movie I have seen all year. I don't go out of my way to watch the worst movies in a year, so I'm sure there are worse ones. But I've seen a decent amount of movies this year, and yeah, this is definitely the worst. If one of your friends says, hey, you want to check out that new Kevin Smith movie, Tusk? Your response should immediately be, why? Followed by a firm slap to the groin. This movie's a piece of shit. You want to know what Kevin Smith's next movie is going to be? A piece of shit. Let's stop seeing pieces of shit. Let's stop seeing Kevin Smith movies. Let's stop suggesting that I go to theaters and see pieces of shit. Three out of ten. Who that? You have a zoom in button? Yes, like, I do. Oh, that's weird. You're, he, the human eye does not zoom in. The unrealistic game of the year, zero out of ten. <laughs> Worst game of all time. I can zoom? Bullshit. Why is this game the worst? <laughs>